name is Kim Taylor and I am uh, one of the instructors in the Canadian Kendo Federation for Iaido and Jodo. I'm currently the head of the Jodo section and I'm the organizer of the annual May Spring Seminar at the University of Guelph. Go practice. Hi. The annual Spring Seminar in Guelph began 24 years ago. We had people from a news magazine that I had put out, a, a zine we called them back then. They were photocopied and distributed amongst people. And we gathered enough together at that point, about 30 swordsmen from all over North America, and we got them together and got them to pay a subscription fee for the seminar. And with that, we could afford to bring a Japanese sensei over so that all of us in Canada and the United States could study Iaido with an instructor from Japan. Many people don't have never actually heard of Iaido or Jodo, which is the arts that we're practicing this weekend. Iaido is the art of drawing the sword, and it is a solo art, obviously, because we use metal blades, and when you're senior enough, you're using a, a real blade, what we call a live blade. And it is done solo. It consists of drawing a sword, cutting an imaginary opponent in the air, and then, um, pardon me, shaking the blood off and putting the sword away into the scabbard. Jodo is an art that is a partner practice. We use a long sword, or sorry, a wooden sword, and a long cane. Uh, it's a four foot, well, it's 50 inches. Sorry, it's a 50 inch staff. And those are partnered up and the sword always loses. So it's a bit conflicting when you do Iaido and Jodo because in Iaido you win all the time using your sword and then you go and you practice Jodo and you lose against some guy with a stick. It's, it's a bit depressing once in a while. I've organized this seminar for all of the, the time that it's been running and some people have worried that it wouldn't exist beyond my lifespan. Well, I don't actually plan on dying anytime soon, but if I do, uh, there are other people who can take over. So I don't think it's going to disappear anytime soon. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the annual spring seminar uh, hit its 50th year.